Welcome back everyone to episode 10 of the China series. So last episode we caught South Korea um, funding terrorist groups. So they did it two different times and we went to the UN so there's supposed to be a vote on that uh, in the meantime this protest throughout China is because there's not enough being done for the animals and that's not going to change so they're going to have to get over that and let's go into Secret Service and Manage Networks. So we're going to put 50 more agents in France. Because we're doing industrial spying on them. And the premise behind that is the United States and France are the two countries that produce uh, what is it, the aircraft carrier but also the rank 4 frigates and cruisers so they're the only ones that can produce that for right now so we want to steal that technology from them And even just for the rank three uh, aircraft carrier, it's France, Russia, and the United States. So we can purchase from Russia, but France and the U.S. won't do it. But we don't want to depend on another country. So we want to do things ourselves. So, and speaking of the United States, so we want to kind of want to dominate the Pacific because that, that's in the long run going to give us more security against the U.S. So, when we invade Taiwan... There's going to be, we're going to have this area dominated so much that it's, we want it to be pointless. And we're going to have a number of bases in this region so we can send our naval fleet out. And with the technology for the rank four frigates and cruisers, they have a very long range. So any enemies coming within that area, we could just fire upon them without even being close to them. So it looks like Cambodia is going through a famine. So let's give them some aid. All right. Bravo! Everything is great here at Paris Congress. It took time, but they made it. The People's Assembly has once again designated you to take care of the nation's destiny. You'll be able to write a new page of history. I believe I've heard a few critiques here and there on your program. 
don't worry. I've got the names of the dissidents. You know full well that you can always get on me, right? All right. See you tomorrow, bright and early. So let's give them another 20. So we basically gave them $50 million and I'm going to use that as a means to meet with them and we'll set up a uh, military alliance with them and that will give us access to over here. So we'll try to see if we can boost relations with Thailand and Malaysia. So then that'll give us more access within the South China Sea. Uh, I haven't really determined what I'll do with uh, the Philippines yet. But I'll decide on something soon. So we're here with our boat on a... Uh, South Korea. So obviously it's not going to go anywhere. Now, I'm going to keep those agents in South Korea to spy on them. So chances are they're going to do this again. So from my experience with uh, Power and Revolution, if it comes up again, then they're going to be more likely to uh, vote pro. Alright, and... Looks like Putin has been replaced. Our scientific cell infiltrated an important research center. Yeah, Putin's been replaced, so it'll be interesting to see uh, what the outcome of the war in Ukraine, how that pans out. So... Let's address South Korea. So just because the UN didn't vote against them doesn't mean that we can't do our own due diligence against them. So we're going to put a embargo, weapons embargo on them. But that's not all. So I'm going to go to industry. Um, try fuel cell batteries. So they don't produce enough, so obviously they're going to have to uh, import to meet their demand. So... We're going to block imports. Going to block imports. And let's go to synthetic fibers. So they produce more than their demand. So they're obviously going to have to export to try to make money off of that. So we're going to block exports. And then steel. Yeah. 
Again, they pr produce more than they consume, so you're going to block exports. And we'll see uh, how that pans out. All right, unfavorable regime in Bosnia. Not concerned with that. Favorable regime in Brazil. So let's just double check with student exchange with Okay, so we'll activate a, or try to initiate a student exchange with Brazil. So they accepted. And then, we're gonna give them three hundred million. I'd be happy to. Okay, and let's try this. Alright, so let's see what we can sell or purchase from them. Okay, they accepted that. Um... About the audio industry, they're sufficient in that. Yeah, I, that reminds me, I have to boost uh, biotechnology production. Alright, so, coal. Let's see if we can negotiate. All right. Uh, didn't mean to hit that. What about cement? No, they have enough. All right. And uh, let's just nix that. I don't feel like dealing with it. So, we'll meet with them later. We'll give them, um, let's see. All right, we've already given them two. So let's. Set to two forty. Okay, 
that believe our electric car production is sufficient. We definitely produce more than we consume. But let's go into... High speed internet and you want to get Beijing at a hundred percent. Um, yeah, I'm only willing to spend 16, a little over 16 and a half billion on that. Okay, so let's go into farming. Let's go into budget. We'll hit one more star for uh, organic farming. That's about 10.4 billion. And let's check on the US economy. So let's see if we can hurt their economy a little more. So we're going to go into industry. And I'm going to go into electronic components, which is your semiconductors. And I'm going to block US imports. And let's go into let's go into housing and huh, that's weird, it won't let me. I think that might be a bug. So we'll come back to that later. It's begun. World leaders are beginning to arrive at the United Nations Framework Convention of Climate Change, the UNFCCC, which will start in the next few hours. As in previous years, they are renewing their pledge for success and have high hopes in the new legislation, which could bring their neighbors to the table. The fact is that negotiations have already begun well in advance of the summit, whether with UN emissaries or between heads of state and the future of CO2 emissions for each country are already forecast. Moreover, other resolutions are expected to be passed at the same time, especially the Green Fund for the Climate, intended to help developing countries in their energy transition. All right, our objective... Let's just balance that out. All right, so let's go into construction. So let's do about another 500. That's going to be about 4.3 billion.
Alright, and our dead. So... So really, we're dead. Alright, so we have 19 billion with India. And then the World Bank. Let's pay off the World Bank first. And yeah, 25 years for that one. Let's pay them back also. So that's less we have to deal with. Let's check out unemployment. That's pretty strong. So let's cut this back to seventy percent. And the work week will drop that to forty hours. Our governmental cell informs me that it has had the opportunity to approach this potential informer. According to my calculations, using transactional analysis, Chicago score naturally, <clears throat> the team has at most a 63.8% chance of making a strategic gain in its position by focusing on this target and only on this target. Do you want us to try the approach? Yeah, we could go ahead and do that. All right, so that's interesting. So there's eight nuclear subs from the U.S. All in the Arabian Sea still. Uh, and that quick they're all gone, so what just happened? Let's take a look at this. So the war is still going on there. Let's go to energy and... So let's hit the U.S. again on an embargo. Let's just see how this affects their economy. So we'll put a embargo on exports. Or no, not exports, imports. Change that to 260. And the education. Let's go to Thailand. Alright, so that's active. And what about Malaysia? All right, so they're both active. So let's go to industry. And actually, let's go to 
so I want to see how many ships, um, how many ships can we produce at once? Three. So we need to improve that. So let's go to naval construction. Things that to one hundred and fifty thousand. That's going to cost us about two hundred million. And other surface ships. So. Let's change that to 25,000. So where are our finances at? Our growth is almost six point five percent growth. Um, let's take a look at our debt. All right, so public debt's down to sixty six from sixty eight. So we have a few more months in this quarter. All right, so completely forgot about uh, space research. So I'm gonna bump that up and max that out for space propulsion. Our scientific cell infiltrated an important research center. Our infiltrated agents had the chance to carry out a sabotage operation. A sort of Bulgarian opening, if you'll allow me the analogy, that according to my calculations would produce a two-figure dynamic impact, superior in absolute index to the harmful potential of a failure. Do you wish for us to proceed with this operation? Yeah, we can do that. Hey, esports champion, victorious. All right, yeah, jumbo jet plans. Our network has obtained intelligence, data, and passwords on the principal platforms of the nation. We're finally ready to launch a cyber attack. We are now waiting for the green light. All right, so where's the U.S. economy at? 5% inflation. And Tom Baden dropped down to, oh, that quick. Dropped down to 88%. So let's go into Secret Service and... Let's launch a cyber attack on the U.S. Our services report a new conspiracy theory that is beginning to take hold on social media. You can view the description of this theory and its development on our summary page. Duly noted. Copy that. We are going to start the process. It's somewhat unfortunate that our network implanted in that country still needs a little time to prepare for our attack. However, it is still sending us decent intelligence that, properly used, 
can be highly destructive. All right, so I conduct that cyber attack and see what it does to their economy and what it does to Tom Baden's uh, poll ratings. So why is it so many nuclear submarines in this area? And we're almost at our destination with the six um, frigates we sent over to uh, Guinea. The decree takes effect as of today. Our agents based in that territory, in coordination with our cyber analyst and network control services, are working to start a large conspiracy theory campaign in the country. You can now view the theory. Alright, let's do subliminal messages in the media. And we'll close that out. So... Let's address some of the... Alright, so start a new campaign there. All right, so first day, 39 billion, so. It's begun. Social media will be flooded with our fake news. The decree takes effect as of today. We rocked it. I will keep you informed. All right, so let's take a look at war so Ukraine is actually pushing towards losing 300,000 troops so I'm not sure how much longer this is gonna go on for it should be ending soon our governmental cell informs me that it has had the opportunity to approach this potential inform alright so let's go to our own Military here. All right, so let's increase the amount of commandos to thirty five thousand. Okay. Uh, we're not going to do that much. Uh, Let's do another 20,000 missiles. Their security system protected certain vital infrastructures, but we have succeeded in reaching their central power grids, which are now stopped. Besides the heavy impact on the population, this is going to be very costly, economically speaking. All right, three days and they're already at $106 billion loss, so. All right, and let's see. Yeah, we'll keep him in uh, the U.S. So let's go to taxation and see. So we're going to bump this up by 1%. Line tickets. I'm going to drop that down and
Attacks uh, entering the country. I'm going to drop that down to 10. So let's go to tourism. So we want to bump that up. Alright, so we need more personnel. Let's go 3 1. It's 100 million. Alright, so in 8 days, the US lost almost 200 billion. Let's see, what can we do with um, health care? So occupational medicine will increase that. And then education. Actually... Let's go back in the Secret Service and let's do counterintelligence. I'd like to congratulate you in person for your popularity. The way the country trusts you moves me. What else in research can we do? Um, how much is it going to cost for that? So we'll do half. Uh, let's see, do we want to... Hmm. I'll have to decide uh, next episode what I want to do with... Um, if I want to give Australia A because they don't hate us like Indonesia does. And then that would give us... That would give us Australia as an ally. And that would give us more access to both the Indian Ocean and the Pacific. So that's something I'll decide next episode. But in the meantime, thank you for the support. Please click the like if you haven't already. And please subscribe to help with the channel. And also click the bell so you can be notified of future videos. In the meantime, thank you for your support and see you soon.